right now on the approval matrix. Are we living in the golden age of television? We'll use the power of the matrix and our panel of experts to find out. Plus, special guest, Amy Poehler. And now your host, Neil Brennan. Let's discuss television. We can all agree we're living in the golden age of it, but the reasons why are highly debatable. Snobs will tell you we've entered the proverbial golden age because of super classy, highly produced dramas like Breaking Bad, House of Cards, and Mad Men. Meanwhile, the same cranky-ass critics will go after fan favorites like Duck Dynasty, The Real Housewives, and Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> but guess what? I disagree, and here's why. I don't remember one thing Don Draper has ever said on Mad Men, whereas I'll never forget the tribe has spoken, one day you're in, the next day you're out, and that glorious Guido haiku, Jim Tan Laundry. <laughs> Or maybe we think television is in its golden age because we all feel like our opinion matters. In the old days, if you didn't like a show, your only recourse was to shoot the TV like Elvis. <laughs> but now, thanks to the internet, fans have direct access to show creators, and of course, being human, most of them use it to complain. Oh look, Carol from Montclair was disappointed with the way Lost ended, you guys. Was the 22 episode per season opus about a magical island shot on location with 14 airtight storylines that all weave together <laughs> over a seven year period that was delivered to you for free on ABC, not wrapped up with a perfect bow for you, Carol? <laughs> Tell us what else. I personally think that viewers have no right to tell showrunners what to do. Watching a lot of TV doesn't make you a TV writer any more than having diabetes makes you a pastry chef. <laughs> Maybe TV is at its peak right now thanks to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and the 1,600 channels on my cable box. There is now literally a show for everybody. Are you a dirty old white guy who likes watching other dirty old white guys clean out storage units or do other Saturday <laughs> afternoon chores? <laughs> There are several networks devoted just to you. <laughs> are you a liberal arts major who likes to hang out at microbreweries bragging about your love of awkward comedy? I don't like jokes in my comedy, you guys. <laughs> then Louie is going to hit you right in your flabby, ironic midsection. Do you love children, but only in figurine form? Try Nancy Grace. <laughs> And not only do we have hundreds of shows tailored specifically for us, we get to watch every episode at once, which has given birth to a new breed of human, the annoying friend who peer pressures us to watch a series we were planning on skipping. <laughs> Dude, you haven't seen Dexter? No, I haven't. It's eight seasons long. That's 96 hours of television. That's a huge commitment. I could either watch Dexter or get, like, a helicopter pilot's license. <laughs> So that's what we're discussing today, TV, right here on The Approval Matrix. The Approval Matrix premieres Monday at 11 on Sundance TV.